Okay, well, hello, everybody. I hope everyone's having a wonderful time. This is the second day of the Rooted and Wild online festival, which I'm very excited to be a part of and very grateful, uh, especially to the facilitators, Sally and Lynn. Thank you so much for having me. So I'm going to present for you an hour of music. I'm going to start off with some uh, solo native style flute music uh, from my albums, The Awakening and The Silence Between. And then I'm going to finish off the last half hour with some new songs for my upcoming album. So sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy. It's very, very dry here in Northern California, so I'm going to be drinking a lot of water now. This is a track from my first album titled Daybreak, and it's going to be followed by At First Breath.
lovely piece to get started and get those fingers moving, get out that, that ag agility. All right, so this next piece I'm going to be sharing is from uh, inspiration from a travel that I did. Uh, it's like yeah, a couple years ago, I believe it was. Now it, all these years are coming together with all the traveling that I do with my wife. Uh, but this is inspired by a trip that my wife and I took to Zion National Park out in Utah. And uh, we were hiking the Emerald Pools, tr Pools Trail. And in the, it was in the middle section. There's three tiers of that trail. And it was in the middle section where we stopped. And there was some beautiful acoustics there with this gorgeous Emerald Pool. And of course, I had my flute with me. And I pulled that out. And had some natural reverb and put on a little performance for everybody that was there. It was a very inspiring moment. And it was just an improvisational piece that I was doing at the time. And uh, from that was born the song. And this is Emerald Pool. Transports me back every time. All right, that was from uh, my second album, The Silence Between. And uh, actually, speaking about that album, I'm going to actually move on to the title track from that album, The Silence Between. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
the silence between them. I'm actually starting to hear a little bit of static, so I'll just give me one second to check on a little uh, technical issue here. That would be it. It's always usually those power cables that get in the way. We run out of time. All right. Well, I hope that fixed that s static issue there. Uh, I hope everybody's enjoying so far. So this next song I'm going to move on to, I'm just going to do actually an improvisational piece because I got this uh, new flute a few weeks back, actually about a month ago now. It has such a beautiful, sweet voice. This is from J.P. Gomez of Hearts on Flutes. As a matter of fact, the other flutes I was playing as well were from J.P. Gomez. He's out of Sedona, Arizona. And this is a gorgeous C sharp flute. And it just has an incredible voice, so I just want to share that with you now.
Okay, well, I got these new songs to share. I was going to have some other uh, solo pieces, but I'm so excited to share these. I have to make sure I keep track of that time. So I'm actually going to move on to those new pieces now. They're so new, as a matter of fact, they are currently untitled. So we'll just start so calling these song one, two, three, four, and five. This would be my first album where I have other instruments that I did play to accompany the flute. And some of these songs had pieces of and put it together with guitars and drums, rattles in there. Finally, uh, the inspiration came to me during this time where we were confined in our homes and nothing else to do. So what better to do but use your imagination and take you to the places that inspire you. And this is how these songs came to be. So I hope you enjoy. And since this does have some tracks that are attached to it, just keep an eye on your volumes. You may have to adjust a little bit.
let's go ahead and move on to the next one.
move on to the next one. Before I do that, actually, that song was written, written in spirit of my ancestors from the Taino people in Puerto Rico. And I do have a tentative title for that one, and that was uh, The Spirit of Makoka. I really like that, so that's probably what it's going to be. bit of extra time, so I'm just going to share a little bit about this one. Uh, while this does not have a name yet, this song was created with uh, the thoughts in mind of my travels when I first went to Monument Valley in uh, Utah. It's a, it actually is in the southern, at uh, the uh, Arizona-Utah border, I should say. My wife and I did some uh, hiking around the slot canyons, and then we headed over there for the night and spent the night uh, there, right uh, um, uh, with our, our view, our tent set up with the view of the beautiful mittens. And for those who are not sure about what they are, they're actually very, very popular. And they actually look like oven mitts. So uh, if you look up Monument Valley, you'll see that iconic site of those rock monoliths. After we left there, we had, well, I should say, we had a beautiful sunset and sunrise, which was actually very exquisite to see. Uh, but we packed up our tent and we headed on. And we ended up making a drive through the Valley of the Gods. And uh, passing through the Valley of the Gods, right when you pass that, there's this area that zigzags up, this gigantic rock monolith. And it's called the Moki Dugway. And all I can say is it's, it was an amazing drive, but I'm glad we drove up and not down because that would have um, been pretty scary. <laughs> But it was a pretty amazing uh, sight going up, and, and I'm glad I did it. So this is that song.
hope those are coming through all right. Let's see. I got time for two more songs just in time. These are two of my uh, newest pieces I actually uh, wrote with the guitar, and uh, the second one will have the guitar and drums. And it was during this quarantine lockdown that's been going on these past four months. And who knows how much longer we'll be here. But uh, the silver lining of it all is taking this time to reflect on ourselves, on our loved ones, and what inspires us, what we love about ourselves, what we love about our families and friends, and taking the time to create, create from what we're inspired by. And that's what I'm doing.
Hmm. Well, well, well. I love that new piece. It's a very, very inspiring song. It just flows through my heart. I just it have feel it through all of my being. Such a such amazing beauty what the music does to us. So I hope this is having a, a connection with all of you. I got one more piece for you. And uh, before I move on to that, I want, once again, I want to thank all of the facilitators, Lynn and Sally, for inviting me to be a part of this amazing three-day festival. And there's still uh, plenty more going on tonight, and a daytime for me, but tonight uh, for the UK. And then uh, tomorrow, they finish off. So uh, thank you again, Lynn and Sally. Thank you all for joining me for this performance. I'll uh, take you out with this final song from my set. If you'd like to have more information about me, my name is Timothy J.P. Gomez. You can visit my website, timothyjpgomez.com. If you'd like to hear more of my music, I appreciate it. Thanks for your time.
Well, I hope that was enjoyable for everybody. Oh, look at that, 10.59. We're right on, well, 10.59 for me, 6.59 for you. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Thank you very much for your time. I'm Timothy J.P. Gomez. Thank you for your watching and listening from the heart. Appreciate it. Stay safe out there.